I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question based on trigonometric inequalities. We need to solve 2 cos cube x is greater than or equal to cos x where x is between 0 to 2 pi. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let's bring the terms together on one side and then solve. So the inequality is 2 cos cube x is greater than or equal to cos x. Getting cos x to the left side gives us 2 cos cube x minus cos x is greater than or equal to 0. We can factor cos x. So we get cos x 2 cos square x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So at this stage we can find the zeros, right? And then table of values. So now the step is to find zeros. Now zeros are because of the two factors. One is cos x. So cos x equal to 0 will give us some zeros and then we have 2 cos square x minus 1 equal to 0. So we need to solve for both to get these zeros. We are working in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So in 0 to 2 pi, cos x is 0 for x equals to 2 values, pi by 2. So here x is equal to pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2. Now in this case, we are actually working out for cos x equals to 1 divided by 2 square root, plus and minus. So that means there are four values, right? So, so if you look into it, one over square root 2 means pi by 4 and these four values, correct? So we are looking for pi by 4. Then this is 3 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4, and 7 pi by 4. So we have actually 6 zeros for this particular graph. To solve the inequalities, we should make a table and analyze intervals. Correct? So let's make a table and analyze the intervals. We have six zeros. So, so let me write down these lines. We'll write positive and negative for each function. One, two, three, four, five, Okay, six. Okay, so right. So basically, we have a pi by two here, three pi by two there, and these six zeros. So we could write an order, right? So uh, in our cycle, let's start with. Uh, <clears throat> we are working in the interval zero to two pi. Okay. Let me make one more line here. Since we are working in the interval 0 to 2 pi, right? So x value has to be between 0 to 2 pi. Let's remember that. Right. Okay. So let this be uh, 0, where x equals to 0. And then we have pi by 4. And then we have pi by 2, right? And then we have 3 pi by 4, uh, 5 pi by 4, then we have 3 pi by 2, 7 pi by 4, and then we have 2 pi. So it's gone slightly away. Let me just push it on the side. So I hope it is visible, right? So let me just push it more. 
Okay. So that is how it is. So we are going to analyze both these factors in these intervals. That's the whole idea. So the factors are cos x and the other factor is 2 cos square x minus 1. Correct. So these are the two factors. Now let's try to see first for cos x when is it positive. Right. So cos x is as you know like this. Right. So for cos x it is positive from we know at pi by 2 it is becoming 0. Right. So it is positive before that. So for cos x this is positive. And then it is positive after 3 pi by 2. So that means it is positive here and in between it is negative. Is that clear to you? Correct. Now, for the other function, which is 2 cos square x minus 1, it is becoming 0. So to start with, it has the highest value, right? So it is positive. But at pi by 4, it becomes 0. That means change is sign. Correct? At pi by 4, it becomes 0 and changes sign. And the sign is changed. And after pi by 2, it remains as negative. After 3 pi by 4, it again changes sign. Correct? So, for this, we could write like this. Think like this. We are moving in this direction. So, for 2 cos squared, it is positive here. Then changes sign. This is negative here and changes sign becomes positive, negative, negative, and then positive. Do you see that part? So that is how we could visualize it. And now we'll write it here. So, so after 3 pi by 4, it again changes sign. 5 pi by 4, it changes sign. Do you see that? And then 3 pi by 2, it remains same, but after 7 pi by 4, it changes sign. So that becomes the sign for the second factor. We are interested in positive. So when you multiply two of the same sign, you get positive. So this is positive, this is negative, this is positive, this is negative, this is positive, this is negative, and this is positive. Correct? So our solution includes all the intervals when it is positive. So, so the solution for this is from 0 to pi by 4, both included since we are saying greater than or equal to. So, we will write here 0 to pi by 4 union. Next is from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 4. union and then we have from 5 pi by 4 let me write here 5 pi by 4 to 3 pi by 2 and then we have from 7 pi by 4 to 2 pi is that clear so these are the intervals during which 2 cos cube x is greater than cos x. Is that clear? So, so we get 4 intervals when it, it is greater. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views and I hope you understand and appreciate the strategy applied here. So what we have done basically is found the zeros and then analyze the interval between the zeros for both the factors. And that table really helps to solve inequalities, just as you did for polynomial inequalities. So the strategy is kind of similar. Thanks for watching and all the best.